Let's practice freezing panes in Excel 2013. So begin with some information. Imagine having the last name, the first name, as well as some notes. Now in the case where the notes go way off the screen and you're scrolling very far through the columns, it may be handy to always keep track of which student or which um, particular inf information we're working with. So in this case, I want to actually keep track of the first and last names. So what I do is I click on C1 and go to View, Freeze Panes, Freeze Panes. And by doing that, by clicking on C1, I automatically freeze the first two columns. So now when I scroll to the right, you can see that I can always see the first and last names, regardless if I scroll very far to the right. Now let's go to freeze panes, unfreeze panes. What if what happens if I click on C3? Go to freeze panes, freeze panes. You can see that because my uh, C3 cell was selected, freezing panes actually draws a line like a um, plus sign here as well as here. So as I scroll down, you can see that the, that uh, <coughs> row one and two are frozen and so is column 1 uh, A and B. So I'm going to freeze panes, unfreeze panes. You can see there's also the option of freezing panes uh, the top row as well as the first column. So if I freeze panes the first column, that's a fast way of doing that. And uh, this is a very useful technique for keeping track of uh, making sure that you're working with the correct row or column.